What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jared with an I here. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about five essential items that you may need for the 2022 wedding season. But before we dive into that, if you are new to the channel, this channel is all about giving you the confidence to lean into a full-time career as a wedding filmmaker. So if you are into that sort of thing, it would mean so much if you consider subscribing. So the first item on my list that I would recommend is probably more obvious, and that is the Leatherman Multi-Tool. For just under $100, you can pick one of these up, and it really has everything you need from a wedding filmmaking standpoint, from a just life in general standpoint. I mean, it has a lot of different tools packed into this small compact size. It has a flat head. It has a screwdriver. It has a nail filer has a knife, which is good for cutting tags and things on the day. Sometimes your bridesmaids or the bride has things that you just, you know, need to be prepared for so that you can provide that level of service. It's got a wire cutter. It's got a bottle opener. And some even come equipped with scissors. These little tools are seriously invaluable, and I guarantee you it will become one of your most prized possessions if you don't have one already. So I do highly recommend picking one of these up. You can find these on Amazon for $60, so it might not be a bad idea to pick one up if you have been considering it. And just a quick side note, all products that I'm going to be mentioning today is going to be under the $100 price tag, and you'll be able to find all the links in the description below. So the second on my list is going to be the JBL Pocket 3, and for just under $50, you can pick one of these Bluetooth speakers up and incorporate it in your wedding filmmaking process. For real though, honestly, I didn't really ever think that I would need a Bluetooth speaker. And up until one of my last weddings when, you know, the bridesmaids were just really vibing and they were just having a good time. They were singing a Lizzo song and I was like, wait, I need to pull this up on my phone and get them in the vibe, like let that music be flowing. And honestly, having a Bluetooth speaker that would be loud enough for them to really enjoy that moment so that I could capture uh, really that excitement in a, in a really awesome way. And honestly, the phone just wasn't loud enough. So I thought, hmm, maybe having a speaker would help create more excitement and really enhance the mood for that particular scene. And of course, when it comes to your couple session, when it's just the bride and groom, when it's just them two, having a playlist of sorts, whether that be more romantic music or maybe upbeat, something that really fits the couple's personality, and playing that while you are capturing them to is just another way to really elevate your end product. Really just helps bring out their personalities in a fun way through music. So definitely highly recommend a JBL. Doesn't have to be necessarily a JBL, just some pocket Bluetooth uh, speaker that you can bring to your next wedding. Again, it's just another way to help set the mood and create a memorable experience for your clients. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next up is, of course, going to be one of my most used tools. You've heard me preach about this in multiple videos on this channel, and that is going to be the Black Pro Mist filter. For just under $100, you can pick some of these up to create a cinematic mood within your wedding films. This filter allows for softer highlights, really creating a softer image overall, so that creates a cinematic, just moody vibe that I love to utilize in my wedding films. To me, with these filters, everything just feels and looks so much more cinematic, so much more intimate, which is the style that I love to go for. So if you are looking to elevate your wedding films or just enhance your style overall, I definitely recommend picking a few of these Black Pro Mist filters up, giving it a try on your next wedding, or just doing a quick test at home and seeing if this style really does fit with your brand. I have the 1 4th strength adapters, so that is like right in the middle. Um, there's one half and then one eighth, one half being a bit more prominent with the halation and blooming effect, and then one eighth being the more softer, like very subtle look and feel. Fourth on my list of essentials is going to be a pocket notebook. These honestly have become super invaluable for me when it comes to the editing process on a wedding. Having the ability to write down your thoughts, write down the storyline that you are trying to create, it's just really beneficial to kind of keeping yourself organized. 
For me, oftentimes I can kind of just get lost in the moment and just feel a bit overwhelmed when I'm thinking of the direction that I wanna take this certain film. So being able to highlight key points and moments and just really organize my thoughts into a small just field notebook is something that I really do find helpful and beneficial when it comes to creating my wedding film. So you can find these on Amazon for like super cheap. So I definitely recommend getting a few of them. All right, and last but not least is going to be in regards to lighting. And honestly, some of my favorite lights that I've used this year has been the Torch LED lights. Um, they are kind of hard to find right now, but there is a comparable solution in the Aperture MCs um, and some that I just recommend because they are lightweight, they are compact, they are portable. The Aperture MCs were actually on my Christmas list this year because they are so lightweight and compact and just to have an extra set of lights. I've had the torches for a couple years and they've been really helpful in helping me just light up my receptions, my dance floors helping to you know, pump that light in so that I can make sure that I'm producing a very cinematic image throughout the entire day because there's nothing worse than going to a reception venue and it's just very low light, it's just so dim. If you don't have any lights with you and you don't shoot on Sony, oftentimes your image is gonna be sacrificed because you're really having to push it to its limits. So I definitely recommend lighting like this, that's portable, that's lightweight. You can run and gun and move it to wherever you need to to really pump that light in in certain situations. So whether that be the core bolts, torch, LED, whatever you wanna call them, or the Aperture MCs, I definitely recommend these two lights for receptions and even set design. I mean, I have one right here that's kind of pumping light to this plant, which is just very subtle again. So just something to uh, consider if you are looking for new lighting or you have no lighting and you need a solution, that is one I do recommend. All right, guys, well, that is the end of this week's video. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you found this video helpful or valuable in some way, it would mean so much if you consider subscribing and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. 2022 is going to be an exciting but very, very busy year. So I hope everyone is excited, a little bit nervous, but ready to get out there and serve your couples in an exciting way. So until next time, keep creating and telling beautiful stories. Peace.